Hey, my name is Mike, and this is a too long Dune Raid version of Killrog, Deadeye, and Normal and Heroic. If you're doing this fight on Heroic, it has a little bit more health and does a little bit more damage. Salivating Bloodthirster ads will spawn out of the caves on the left and right side. They'll travel towards where the boss was before you pulled him. If they reach this area, they become a Hulking Terror. One Bloodthirster will spawn on that area and instantly become a Terror. Hulking Terrors put Fell Corruption on people, which is a dot that deals more damage the more corruption you have. It's presented as an additional resource bar. It slowly drops off you as the fight goes on, but if you get 100, you get Mind Control. Make sure you're interrupting Rending Howl because it's a raid wide AoE. Each interrupt makes the next cast faster. And they also have a frontal cone ability called Savage Strikes, which applies corruption to everyone that's hit. When these guys die, they deal damage to everyone within 10 yards and apply 30 corruption. Killrog puts Shred Armor on the tanks. This increases the damage dealt by this ability for 40% per stack, but if you have active mitigation when this goes out, you don't get a debuff. A random person gets targeted for Heartseeker and you'll see an arrow coming out of the boss. After 5 seconds, the boss throws a sword towards them and anyone that's hit by this gets a dot. And they also spawn a Blood Glob ad. This ad just moves towards the boss and if it gets to the boss, it does a raid wide AoE. If a person with corruption gets hit by Heartseeker, a Fell Blood Glob spawns instead. It has more health than the other add, and if it gets to the boss, it deals twice as much raid wide damage and also heals the boss for 15%. Don't stand in these green swirlies, the further away you are from them, the less damage they do. During Vision of Death, the boss will spawn three runes around him. If one person stands in each of the runes, they get teleported to another realm. In this realm, there's just a countless wave of adds. You can interrupt the imps, the fiends explode when they die and leave a pool on the floor, and the mistress has a frontal cone ability. The only way for you to leave this area is if Khadgar dies or if you reach one health. Once you get teleported out, you have about a minute and a half debuff that doesn't let you go back in. Also, when you leave the realm, you get a 60 second buff. For every ad that you killed inside, you have a 10% damage increase stacking up to 20. And healers have their healing increased by 10% per stack as long as they're in here. Healers also get this aura around them that reduces the corruption of anyone standing in it, and it also lasts 60 seconds. My group split up the range into two groups. Whoever got Heartseeker would just move out into the middle. Range would focus the Blood Glob, and they would start off salivating Bloodthirsters before melee would jump in. For the first Vision of Death, we threw in three DPS, and then when they got out, we did all our big cooldowns. Defensive cooldowns can be safe for the green swirlies, but having them up for the end of the fight can really help because it gets really hectic. That was a too long dinner read version of Kill Rock Deadeye on Normal and Heroic. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. Thanks for watching and have an amazing day!